Hi everyone. Next we are going to see the last part of electronic instrumentation system. It is block diagram of an electronic instrumentation system. Actually, <coughs> for an electronic instrumentation system, it has basically three blocks. First one input stage, second one intermediate stage, then the last one output stage or output amplifier stage. Okay, so input stage means the stage at which from where we are measuring the things or measuring the uh, quantities, whatever it is, that is input stage. Then after this measurement, you know, we are using electronic instrumentation. Since we are using electronic instrumentation, we have to convert that measured value uh, physical value into electronic electrical signal then after that that should be in readable format or it should be convey some meaningful data whatever it is so for that one we should have one output stage or output we have to give some output devices indicator or whatever it is so actually you can simply say that is for input stage from where we are measuring at that stage we are uh, taking the physical quantity and that is converted to electrical signal and then second intermediate stage we are doing some operations on this intermediate stage and the last stage that is displaying to the human being that is it is in the readable format okay so at the input stage it is main important part of input stage it is transducer then preamplifier preamplifier we can see transducer it is very very important one. actually what is transducer transducer it is nothing but a device that receives energy from one system and transmit it to another offer often in a different form or a device that convert Variation in a physical quantity such as pressure brightness into electrical signal that is for electrical transducer for mechanical it may not be electrical signal it will be in mechanical energy. So transducer generally you can say any device which is converting one uh, form receive one form of energy and converting it into in another form of energy. So trans it transform. From, uh, receives one form of energy and it is transforms it into another form of energy and we are mainly focusing on electrical transducer electrical and mechanical transducers are there we are focusing on electrical transducer actually this transducer is again classified into sensors and actuators so this one exactly applicable for our electronics electronics instrumentation or robotics where you will detail study about this one that is sensor the transducer we are using at input stage where actuators is the transducer normally we are using at the output stage and then you may understand what is exact difference between these two sensors it is nothing but it is receives physical quantity or physical energy whatever it is and converting that into electrical signal Whereas actuators, it receives the electrical signal and convert it into the mechanical or locomotion or other form of energy. So, physical quantity to electrical signal, physical quantity or physical motion from there to electrical signal, it is sensor. And electrical signal to physical quantity or physical motion, that is actuators. So, you can see how a robot is operating. Robot sensing something, that is it sends something by using its camera or sensors whatever it is then after that it processing those data then give the information to its wheel or its robotic arm so then we have to operate a lot of motors so motors are act, acting as actuators converting this electrical signal to physical motion so that we can say fun it is converting electrical signal to which one uh, 
this uh, mechanical motion. So we are getting wind. And air circulation. We are getting air circulation. Similar to a generator, it is converting the uh, physical motion to electrical signal. But it is a giant one. We are focusing only in electronic installation. So instead of these sensors, you can use the concept. In, instead of this transducer, you can say here you can represent transducers as a sensor, and here you can represent this indicator, other things as actuators. So converting physical quantity to electrical signal and electrical quantity to physical one. Or generally, you can say transducer. And transducers, the uh, already told you, it is it can be electrical or mechanical. Difference is electrical transducers. It is converting electrical signal to sorry, a physical quantity to electrical signal. That is the major difference. So it has lot of advantage compared to mechanical one. So you see. Our same example we can take here. See this um, thermometer. How you are measuring this one? There is a temperature, high temperature at this atmosphere. That temperature is sensed by sensor. So actually the sensor all is doing by using this mercury. So mercury sensing this temperature. So it acts as a sensor. Or transducer. Then after sensing this one, it results in the expansion of mercury. So then when it is expanding, it is moving up. So it is this temperature is converted to mechanical motion. Temper temperature converted to mechanical motion. And the height of this column due to this mechanical motion you are understanding what is the temperature so this is actually done by a transducer it, it is mercury and it convert the physical quantity temperature into a mechanical motion and that mechanical motion leads to a height we are measuring that height and we are saying this is the temperature is there instead of that one see same thing maybe in this uh, Mm, for heat, uh, this uh, this thermometer, same thing will be in this same thermometer. But here, it is sensing the temperature of forehead by using some temperature sensors. It may not be exact thermometer. There is some temperature sensors here. They are sensing the temperature of the forehead and actually for the thermo, in the thermometer, the input is temperature and output is mechanical motion. Similarly, here again input is temperature, output is electrical signal, very very important, output is electrical signal. So that electrical signal we are getting here, this is actually input stage. So this is the major difference between mechanical sensing and temperature sensing. Okay, electrical transducer or mechanical transducer, difference between these two. And for the electrical transducer, then we can see the advantage of electrical transducer, we can see before that one. Then <coughs> we can complete that discussion. So, if you are taking the same example. So, here, this uh, sensor, it is take measuring the temperature by using temperature sensor okay the temperature is sensing by using this temperature sensor. So that is comes here. So physical quantity. What is physical quantity? Temperature. Then that is sensing by which one? Temperature sensor, transducer. 
that is inside this one. Then for the thermometer, it may result in the rise of mercury column due to mechanical motion. But here it converts into a electrical signal. So the temperature now becomes electrical signal. That electrical signal how amplitude will be less. Then we are using preamplifier to amplify those signals. Then after amplification, there is some intermediate stage because uh, we have to remove noise and only signal has to amplify. All these things will we are doing here. Then before that one, we have to do some operations on those signals. All those things we can do here. Then finally we have to see this person want to see what is the temperature that is displayed by using one indicator. So there is one display unit. So this electrical signal, the temperature now become electrical signal. Electrical signal is amplified at the so at the input stage, temperature become electrical signal. Intermediate stage, electrical signal is amplified. Output stage, this amplified signal has to convert to a reading readable format. So for that one, we are converting this is a in analog to digital uh, that electrical signal analog to digital converter. Then we are displaying by using a LED display. All those things we are dealing, uh, dealing in the output stage. So we are getting input stage that is physical conductivity to electrical signal. Intermediate stage processing on the electrical signal. Output stage electrical signal to a readable format indicating format. That is actually the block diagram of electronic pulse modulation. So the detail about that one. It is given here. The connection lines, the physical quantity is mentioned, monitoring. Then we are amplifying, produce sufficient output, amplifying the signal. Then we are getting the output. Then we can see the advantage of electrical transducer. So, see for the mercury. Its height has to change with the condition of temperature, and we have to monitor that height. But in electrical, it is most easy to readable. So this mass inertia effect for the mercury it has its own mass. When it is moving on the side of the wall, there is a friction. So like that, mass inertia friction. All these things we can avoid in the electrical sensors only electrical signals then one doctor is mentioned by using thermometer that uh, the doctor has to come near to this person then measure and it has to read by uh, monitor by the doctor but if you are taking the um, this uh, electronic sensor it is showing the digital value this my temperature if you have that data connection, internet connection, you can send that value to the doctor by using uh, internet or uh, cloud computing or whatever it is, in an IoT. Then doctor can monitor from the fa uh, far away distance. So the data transmission, remotely controlling, all these things we can do. Record remotely at a distance from the sensor medium. And it can store for the future purposes. And we can process all on these things. So all these things are the advantage of electrical transducer. Then these transducers are classified into active and passive. Difference is simple. For active transducer, it is directly responsive to physical parameters. Does not require any external power. Whereas passive transducer, we it require external power. Simple. You may hear about piezoelectric effect. If you are giving pressure, it will produce voltage. If you are giving voltage, it will vibrate. So without giving any external signal, if you are giving the pressure, the mechanical signal it is converting to electrical signal. So it is an active transducer. But you may see some of the bulb, it will turn off where, uh, when light is coming. That is by using light dependent resistor, LDR. Or in high temperature, light is turned off. That is by using thermistor. But all these sensors are working with the help of external supply. So it requires external supply. Such one is known as passive transducer. Whereas the, the uh, sensors which does not require external supply is known as active transducers. Okay.
So this is the block diagram of electronic instrument.